Okay, hi YouTube. Welcome to uh, May 26 PB patch notes. Let's dive right into it. Uh, Hfox. Uh, spell percent AD buff at all star levels. Spell heal buff that one and two star. Ezreal spell damage buff at all star levels. Nidalee attack speed after transform nerf that two and three star. Sejuani 50 HP buff. Spell health percentage buff by 1%. Vladimir, nerf at 2 and 3 star spell damage, and nerf at 2 and 3 star spell healing. Tristana, bomb explosion delay down from 3 seconds to 1 second. Initial cast time, 0 seconds. Time to first missile launch uh, from 0 0.5 seconds to 0 0.3. Still 0 0.5 seconds between each launch. Now animates immediately when she starts casting and faces her target at the start of each cast. So basically, they buffed her timing because she took so long to um, ult. That's good. Yone, plus 50 HP, plus 5 AD. Elise, uh, spell damage, buff at 1 and 2 star. Lee Sin, 10 less total mana. Buff at 1 and 2 star for spell damage. Swain, fireball damage. Buff at 1 and 2 star. Silas, spell shield, buff at all star levels. Varus, minus 5 AD. Volleybearer, buff at 1 and 2 star HP on transform. Spell damage per target, buff at 1 and 2 star, but nerf at 3 star. And it just tells you the total... The map for the total damage. Deja, passive at passive damage buff at 1, 2, and 3 star. Update attack visuals. Quirky, bug fix. The big one no longer deals double its bonus damage. Okay, that's why Quirky was probably a little bit busted. I didn't say too many people playing Quirky, but still. Dang. Uh, Idis, uh, HP buff. Spell self healing buff at one and two star. Spell team shield buff at all star levels. Nico spell damage buff at all star levels. Stun duration nerf from two to one point five seconds. Talon minus five AD. Bard status st status stasis duration nerf at one and two star. A big buff at three star. I uh, okay, uh, Pike, spell damage, nerf at 1 and 2 star, secondary damage, nerf at 1 and 2 star, now executes enemies at or below the health threshold. I don't know what the text said before. I think it might have been at health threshold, I'm not sure, or only at below, I don't know, whatever the case, yeah. Shivana, plus 10 AD, Yasuo, plus 100 HP and plus 10 AD. Zoe plus uh, increase in attack speed and mana plus 20 to starting in total mana. Traits. Astral. Uh, Astral 9 orb adjustments. Uh, chance of getting gold is higher. Chance of getting ASO is a lot lower. <laughs> I mean, you do have to get ASO to um, activate Astral 9, but yeah. Not as free to get ASO 2. <laughs> Cannoneer, nerf at all, nerf at 2, 3, 4, 5. Dragon Mancer, base HP buff at 6 and 9. Base AP buff at 6 and 9. Wow, 9 got a huge buff in AP. Okay, holy Christ. Uh, guild, total benefit, nerf starting from 4 guild. Yeah, uh, starting at 4 guild, the bonus got nerfed. From 4 to 6. 4 to 6 guild got nerfed. Mirage, electric damage percentage, buffed by 2%. Executioner, critical strike damage, big buff. Pirates, average gold, got increased. Chance of getting components and full items from these chests got increased. Tempest, time to lightning, uh, buff from 9 seconds to one to 8 seconds. Fix an issue where occasionally the strike would fail. 
Oof. Type of stuff already feels like such a weird trait. So. That would suck. Scale score and bonus damage. Buff at all levels. Shapeshifter, HP on transform. Buff at 4 and 6 shapeshifter. Shimmer scale. Philosopher still now gives stack slash cash outs while holder is dead from combat. It now does not give stacks while unequipped on bench. It's a bug fix. Okay. And the shimmer scale items, just some of the base stats got buffed. So HP got buffed. Yeah, I'm not going to read through this. It's just a bunch of like base uh, stats buff. Augments. Blue battery 1 removed. Blue battery 2 got renamed to just blue battery. And instead of being prismatic, it's now a gold augment. So you'll see that a lot more. I like this change a lot. I didn't really like blue battery one. <laughs> I feel like it was such a useless augment because most champs don't really benefit from getting plus 10 mana. <laughs> plus 20 is not bad, but plus 10 felt like nothing. So that's good. Built different, HP nerf at built diff two and three, attack speed nerf at all levels. Component grab bag. Components from 2 to 3 uh, can now only appear on 3, 2, and 4, 2. Remove component grab bag plus. So apparently they nerfed component grab bag such that you can get it at 2, 2? Two? 2, 1. 2, 1? Two, 2, 1. You can get it at 2, 1, but you only get 2 components. And there was a component grab bag plus that appeared at 3, 2... Maybe also for two, such that it was three components. So it was weird. Nice. Glad they kind of fixed this. I have the storm. Initial AP nerf from 50 to 40. Enhanced AP from 150 to 120. I don't know what this augment is. It's definitely a new one. I have no idea. Uh, golden ticket removed. Honestly, good idea <laughs> because. Golden Ticket felt like such a... What's it called? It didn't feel that rewarding. Because once you hit all your two stars from Golden Ticket, you have to chase three stars in order to actually get good value out of it. And they literally, add, they literally added a prismatic augment such that your shop is... Your shop reroll cost is zero until the uh, PvP round. To start combat, so it's like, what's the point of this augment? <laughs> and like, even trade sector for like, for the most part, kind of just feels almost the same ish, if not better, only only slightly worse. So, heroic presence bug fix fixed an issue allowing enemies to take reflect reflect damage more than once per second. I don't know this augment. Definitely has to do with like heroes and reflect damage. I don't know. Set mechanic, treasure dragon, removed unnecessary portal visual effect that would spawn at the end of the round, disabled the ding 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 audio cue at the end of the round. Oh yeah, this for sure, okay yeah, because this would tell you, oh the end round's ending, I don't know. It's weird. Anyways, uh, and a lot of bug fixes, let's see if there's anything to note. Talon can, di Talon was able to damage himself in his ulti? What the heck? Uh, apparently there was an exploit that you can double proc the treasure dragon by clicking it right before it times out, so that, that's gonna get fixed. Okay, Ghost Army Zoe now successfully casts Ivan R. I found out that Ivan R. No, no, it's called. When Zoe summons Ivan. No, it was Ivan. Yeah. When Zoe summons Daisy. I don't know if it's half the time or all the time, but it's an imposter. Like it literally works for the, literally helps the other team, which is stupid. <laughs> so I was like, I hope they fix that bug. Uh, let's see. She owe you and Italy were getting more critical strike damage than intended. Uh, updated tooltips. Pike will now execute shielded enemies if their health is below the threshold. Uh, yeah, okay, not too many crazy bug fixes, couple of them, 
that were, that were a little crazy, but for the most part, I think it's fine. So, yeah, that's it for me. Uh, that's a lot of passion notes. Holy Christ. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Take care.